gentlemen, welcome! It's been a very, very, very long time, but we are here. Happy Nintendo Direct Day, everybody! It's your boy, Roger Face, with my live reaction to the Nintendo Direct for February 8th, 2023. The music is loud, I know, but I'm excited, I can't wait. We have a lot of good stuff on the horizon. We got Pikmin on the horizon, Zelda on the horizon, Mario World on the horizon, the Mario Movie on the horizon. Welcome to everybody, I got my Pikmin shirt at the ready, Miyamoto style. I've got my Nintendo New York jacket. I'm ready to go. I hope you guys are too. Let me turn down this music because it's getting me really hyped and I gotta turn it down a little bit. I want you guys to hear me. Welcome, welcome one and all to the stream. I am so excited. I've got Sleepy Times in here already coming through with the membership saying, Roger, save your voice. We've got Fern in here, 29 months in. 29 months of being a member, so worth it. Super excited to see your reaction. I am so unbelievably hyped for this one. I have very, very high expectations because there's a lot of rumors going around and there's a lot of stuff that we know for a fact is coming out this year. Two big things in particular, Pikmin and Zelda. We know both of those are coming out this year and are presumably in the first half of the year. Pikmin to me feels like a spring game, maybe early summer, so I have no doubt we're going to get a Pikmin 3 release date and probably another trailer for Pikmin, probably gameplay, during today's Nintendo Direct stream. That is number one, okay? Number two, number two is Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I really, truly, vehemently believe that we are going to get a Tears of the Kingdom Direct at some point in April or March prior to the game's release, separate from this Direct. There is too much other stuff to talk about. You can't just spend 40 minutes on Zelda. I mean, you can, and we'd all be very happy and be very grateful, but I honestly think they're not going to end up doing that. I feel like today, a big focus of today is going to be on games that are not Zelda. And I think if they're gonna do Zelda anything, they're gonna open with it or they're gonna end with it. And we're going to get a big trailer, maybe some gameplay, maybe confirmation of dungeons. Please give me dungeons and Zelda, please. And, and maybe that'll be it. Maybe we get like a special edition announcement switch of Zelda during today's Direct 2. I could see that happening. We're definitely going to get some obvious trailers and things for Octopath Traveler 2, Kirby, the Bayonetta prequel. Like, there's a lot of stuff that we already know about that is coming out in the first half of this year. And I trust Nintendo. We are probably going to get more information on that. I, I hope they don't spend five, ten minutes on, like, the Bayonetta prequel. I hope they don't spend five or ten minutes on Kirby, which is just a port of the Wii game. Like, it'd be cool to see that. Like, I'm happy for Kirby fans that they're getting something good. But honestly, like... I love Forgotten Land, I feel like, or Forgotten World, whatever it was called, I loved that game. But the other Kirby game that was on Wii, I never even like bothered playing. I saw other people play it, I was like, that looks cool, but it doesn't look like it's something that I should invest my time in. So it's a cool game, very cool, happy that it's coming to Switch, but not something I feel like they should focus on during this Direct, there's too many other things. In particular, there are two big rumors I want to touch on, real quick, right at the very beginning of this, okay? One is that Mario Baseball rumor. Now, I am somebody who, while I'm a brand ambassador, all right, despite what people say, oh, brand ambassadors can't say anything bad about Nintendo, that is not true, okay? I have said on multiple occasions, I think Mario Strikers, the new Mario Strikers Battle League in particular, was a big misstep. I think it was a missed opportunity. I think it was a missed up. There wasn't enough good single player content in that game to keep me excited for it. I feel like they shouldn't have just drip fed content with the characters as well. They all should have been there at launch. I was very much disappointed with that. Now, I liked the mechanics of Mario Golf and Mario Tennis Aces, but Tennis Aces kind of suffered from the same thing. And the only Mario sports game that I really, really loved on Switch was Golf. But ironically, there were a lot of people who didn't really like Mario Golf. Which was weird to me, because I was like, that had a solid single player, I enjoyed playing it multiplayer for a while, I thought the characters that they added were cool, so I liked Mario Golf. I loved like the new Donk City course that they added to, very, very cool. But, there's one, well there's two actually, big sports left that they could do. And that's basketball, a return to Mario Hoops, which I'm not, you know, counting on. Even though LeBron just beat the record for like most, <laughs> whatever it was in, in basketball yesterday, like LeBron just broke some record. Even though that just happened, all right? I don't think we're getting Mario Basketball. I think if we are getting anything, I do think it's going to be Mario Baseball. I think the time is right. There have been rumblings of Bandai Namco working on some type of Nintendo property. They've worked on Mario Baseball before. It would make a lot of sense to do Mario Baseball. I think that could be the Mario game that we see today. Because the other weird thing, right? And I, I don't want to talk too long because I have to watch the timer. i got to make sure that we're not um, you know, missing anything in this direct. The one other thing I do want to say is I think it's very weird 
that the Mario movie is coming out and right now there is no tie-in Mario game at all. By the way, thank you so much to everybody who's donating all the memberships. I will definitely get to you guys in a second. Thank you very much. I just want, I want to get through my predictions at the be very beginning of this in case you missed my short yesterday. And that is, I feel like it's odd to me that there's no tie-in mainline Mario game with the Mario movie, and considering they're saying that it's roughly 40 minutes focused on games launching in the first half of 2023, I really don't think we're going to get a mainline Mario game in the first half of 2023 either. I just, I, I don't see that happening. I feel like if anything, a new mainline Mario game, be it like an Odyssey 2, or a new Super Mario Brothers 3, or Galaxy 3, or whatever they would end up doing, right? That would be a holiday game to me. And I think, you know, if E3 was still a thing, and Nintendo was going to be attending E3, I would say that maybe that would be announced there. But part of me thinks that maybe if that game exists, and there's a big holiday platformer starring Mario, or maybe even Donkey Kong, that that gets announced here today. I could see that happening too. But I think it's much more likely, at least for me, that we're going to end up getting a Mario spinoff announced today, and I think that spinoff is going to be Mario Baseball. That's my guess. The other thing I want to mention... This is something that wasn't in my shorts video, but it's something I do want to talk about because it's from a developer that is near and dear to my heart, that is Monolith Soft. There have been rumblings of Bait and Kaidos 1 and 2, those card RPGs that were on GameCube, getting re-released or getting remade. If that is the, ch the case, I'm going to be thrilled because I never had the chance to go back and actually fully beat those games. And... I, I, the games are expensive. I'm sure if you're trying to get the original, not the cartridges, but like the little CDs, they're going to be pretty expensive nowadays. And obviously I'm not going to emulate anything. I want to just like, get the actual physical game. And so I feel like them re-releasing that is probably a really smart decision if they don't have another major game from Monolith coming this year outside of DLC from Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which I am very excited for. Those of you who are in the chat who are familiar with my content know that I was not thrilled with the final chapter and a half of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but I thought the rest of the game was really, really good, and I think there was stuff set up with the founders that lies the foundation for some really cool stuff for potential DLC. So I want to see that happen. Maybe we'll get a DLC trailer for Xenoblade today. I don't know when they're going to be releasing Xenoblade DLC. It's kind of up in the air. I could see them dropping a little bit in the first half of the year. Other thing I want to bring up, two things. One, I don't think we're seeing anything Metroid Prime 4. I just, I don't think we are. I'm not going to hold my breath. I said that in my prediction video too, I think Metroid Prime 4, even if it is their big holiday game, even if we do end up seeing more of it, I think it'll be later in this year. I don't think they're going to do that before the release of Zelda, um, though I would love it. I would obviously be thrilled and screaming and jumping out of my chair if they did end up announcing or showing anything regarding Metroid Prime 4. I think it's much more likely that we get that rumored port slash remake of Metroid Prime 1, that maybe we end up seeing that today. Um, just because I feel like Prime 4 might even end up being like one of their cross-release games, cross-gen games, kind of like what they did with Zelda for the past couple generations. I feel like Tears of the Kingdom is coming out this year. So obviously, whenever the Switch successor comes out, even if it's in a year, two years from now, that's still too soon for another mainline Zelda game. So I don't see like a cross-gen, cross-release Zelda game happening. But I could see them doing it with Metroid because you'd have something for the hardcore and then something for the casual like a Mario or something, or Mario Kart. I think like Mario Kart's probably most likely for the launch game for the new Switch, but again, none of that's going to be seen today. I don't think we're getting Metroid Prime 4. I don't think we're getting Mario Kart 10 or whatever. Okay, so I went through all that, touched on all that. I mentioned a little bit briefly at the beginning of the stream that I think we might get like a title direct announcement for Tears of the Kingdom alongside the trailer today, and then maybe we'll see like a limited edition Switch or something like that. But for the most part, those are my expectations for today's Direct. I think it's mostly going to be like a big trailer for Zelda, big trailer for Pikmin, probably not a lot of information on Prime 4, at least like one or two surprise announcements with the biggest, most likely one being some type of Mario spinoff to tie in with the Mario movie, and I think that spinoff is going to be baseball. I think we could get some ports. I think that rumored Kid Icarus port could end up happening. I think Bait and Kaidos could end up happening as well. Um, and I think that's kind of it. I, I don't really know what else they could deliver right now at this point of the year prior to Zelda that could make me completely jump out of my seat. Of course, Shadow Drop Advance Wars would be amazing, but I still haven't beaten Fire Emblem Engage yet. I've been streaming it. I'm on Chapter 12. I love it. But Fire Emblem Engage got announced during the last Nintendo Direct that we had, and now I haven't even beaten it yet. So let me beat Fire Emblem Engage first, Nintendo. I know your release schedule isn't based around Roger's bases, wants, and desires, and needs, 
But for this one thing, maybe hold off a little bit. Maybe say, it's coming out next week. Give me some time to beat. Fire <laughs> Emblem Engage. Please and thank you, because I really do want to play Advance Wars. I love that game. I adore Advance Wars. There we go. Now, with all of that out of the way, there's also one thing I want to draw your attention to if you're a longtime fan before I get to some of these super chats and answer some questions and answer the member questions as well. You'll notice something different about my getup today. Of course, I've got the Nintendo clothes on. My hair's a mess, but that's okay. It's always a mess. You've come to expect that, and I'm sure it's only going to get messier once I start screaming about Nintendo announcements. The other thing I want you to notice is this right here. Now, I know it's been a time-honored tradition with my Nintendo Direct streams in which sometimes I get really, really hype, and I have my headphones plugged in, and the headphones come out. But that's happened one too many times now in which I've ripped out my headphones and then I haven't been able to hear what was going on in the Nintendo Direct. Sometimes it cuts out the audio, you know, during the Direct and I don't want to deal with any of that. So, I have wireless headphones today. So, real quick, I would like to have a moment of silence for my old headphones. Thank you for being loyal throughout all those Nintendo Directs. Thank you for taking me through this amazing hype journey of Smash Ultimate and Tears of the Kingdom and Banjo and Smash and everything. I appreciate you headphones, but it is now time to retire you. So thank you once again for everything you've done. And moment of silence for headphone Sama. There we go. Thank you, by the way, whoever broke that moment of silence with the membership. I appreciate it. All right. Now, with that being said. Let me read out some of these donations. We got BK Henry coming in. Membership, 10 months, let's go. Excited for the Direct. Kat Zara saying excited for the Direct. Metroid Dread donating $20, saying so excited. I'm hoping we get something Metroid for you. I really do. Just another living thing. Member, 30 months going. I'm hoping and praying for Metroid or Silk Song News. Sending our love as always. Thank you very much, Just Another Living Thing. I am so sorry that I couldn't see you when I was in Chicago. I want to give a shout out to you. Emmy hit me up, was like, hey, can we hang out? I had no time to do that, as, as you're probably well aware, my YouTube channel got hacked. So I'm sorry that we couldn't hang out, but I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. You're the GOAT. Greatly appreciate it. Shout out to you. Shout out to Emmy. Thank you very much. Our time's coming through with a $20 donation saying early E3 hype. Excited for Zelda, but I'll lose it for a Bite and Kaidos remake or another Monolith Soft Secret project. Love to Monolith and also great being back after a three year hiatus. Welcome back, Our Times. I know you had some issues with the comment section. I'm glad that those are resolved. I'm glad you could join us for the Nintendo Direct hype. This is going to be very, very good. Absolute Jacob coming through with the donation, saying just pull out the headphones when you pop off, same thing. I guess I can go, oh my gosh, but it doesn't have the same effect. Because the whole thing for me, that you all know if you're watching my direct reactions, by the way, by the way, we are still 10 minutes away from the direct, and there are already 1,100 of you in here, already. Already there's 1,100 of you in here. We are still 10 minutes away from the direct. I appreciate all of you, all the early birds. Thank you, I love you, appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, where was I? Oh yes, the headphones, pulling out the headphones right moment, okay? I'm taking my glasses off for this because I'm serious. All right, look, I want to stress this to you. While it may have seemed forced in some of those old reactions or people thought that I was doing it for views or clicks or whatever, I want to promise to you right now, I never did the headphone thing for like a staged, oh my gosh, this was a hype reaction thing. Never. It just so happens that I had wired headphones in and I was stupid and I would never charge them. And then by the time the direct would come up, they wouldn't be charged. I couldn't do Bluetooth. I had to plug them in. That's the case. So while... It was funny where I would take them off or whatever. That was not something I was ever doing on purpose. It came spur of the moment because of the hype. And so because of that, it doesn't make sense for me to take my headphones out. Now, I can't promise that if I'm swinging my head around because they announced some Zelda thing that gets me hype and my headphone little earbuds pop out, I can't promise that won't happen. That might happen. But I'm not going to sit here and go, oh my God, I can't believe it. They announced Banjo-Kazooie 3. It's not going to happen. But I, I appreciate the sentiment. And I love you and I appreciate you. We have real Mothman in here saying, Tomodachi Life Remake. I wish, but it's probably not going to happen. Game Prodigy coming through. $5 donation saying, super excited today. Hoping Mario Baseball has a lot and a huge roster. And of course, my tradition, give me Rosalina since she wasn't in Sluggers. I agree. 
I love Rosalina. Rosalina in a baseball outfit. You love to see it. I got to see that. Shout out to the other 200 people who just joined the stream right now. You're still coming in early. We're still riding this wave of hype. I still have other donations I got to get through. I have other shout outs I got to get through. I love you guys. This is so much. Roger, I predict NES Remix Deluxe from Ryan. That's actually a good prediction. That's a cool prediction. I could see them bringing that back. I don't know if they're going to, but I could see them doing it. I would love it. KY, my guy KY in the chat. KY Han super chatted and saying, I'm just here to see if Nintendo has the cojones to own what they started and make the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC an epilogue. Do they have the gumption? Do they have the nerve? We're probably going to find out today. I'm fine with an epilogue or a prologue. I'm fine with either so long as we see more of the founders and so long as we see more of the cast of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Because you all know I love Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I loved a lot of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. But we needed more of this. We needed more of this. I didn't just want to see this in the end credits. I wanted this to be part of the actual game and it didn't happen and I want it to happen in the DLC. I'm right there with you. I also saw some people in the chat saying that they think there might be Animal Crossing DLC in this. I would love that. I want an excuse to get back to Animal Crossing. I haven't touched that game since 2023 started, but you know I love Animal Crossing, one of my favorite franchises. I think it is criminal that they have not added Nintendo items in Animal Crossing yet beyond the very basic stuff. Give me Tears of the Kingdom stuff. Give me a guardian you can put in your house that goes bum, bum, ba -da -bum, bum, ba -da -bum. Give me that. They haven't done that yet. It's shocking. What are you doing? Give me an Aegis that I can display on my wall. Please, anything. Give me Animal Crossing DLC. I would love it. Splatoon 3 expansion. That'd be fine. I'd be fine with that too. I like Splatoon 3. I'm excited for a story thing. Gabe Ortiz donated $10 saying it has been 3,000 years. Nintendo Direct hype. I'm ready to get no news on Prime 4 again. Unfortunately, I think you might be right. I think we might not get a lot of news on Prime 4. We have another donation. This one comes from Cheese it Man saying I would absolutely love a Kirby Amazing Mirror remaster. I remember playing it on the GBA with the link cable. Please, Nintendo, please bring back co-op Kirby. I would love that. I would love co-op Kirby. But again, Kirby, while I love Forgotten Land, Forgotten World, it's not usually my main go-to Nintendo franchise. Now, with that being said, if they decided to say, you know what we're going to do? Today we're going to announce City Trial is coming back. And City Trial is going to be a Nintendo, you know, Switch Online game where you can drop into a city, pick up warp stars, warp around, hit your friends, whatever. That would be great. Bring back City Trial. Otherwise, Kirby's like whatever for me. But I like Kirby. He's a cutie patootie. We all love Kirby. He's the best. I see somebody in the chat bringing up Game Boy NSO. I do think that NSO could get an upgrade in this. I know they normally wait for like the September directs to announce upgrades for NSO, but I really do think like if we are going to get one, like another system on the Switch, I could see them doing it prior to Tears of the Kingdom's release because I think, I honestly think this, I think we are getting Game Boy and I think we're getting GameCube. I think we're getting both at some point on the Switch. I think that's why we haven't seen Wind Waker HD. I think that's why we haven't seen Twilight Princess HD. I think that's why we haven't seen Metroid Prime remake that was rumored. I think a lot of those GameCube, even the Bait and Kaidos thing I was just talking about, I feel like a lot of those GameCube games, maybe they could put on the expansion pass to get more people to upgrade to get the expansion pass on NSO. I feel like GameCube could happen. I definitely think Game Boy is only a matter of time, and I really want to see Game Boy happen, and I really, 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 really want them to put the original Pokemon games on Game Boy NSO and have them work with what they've already announced, which is Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch online service. I would love it. I would love it. But I don't necessarily know if they're going to end up doing it today. But I think there's a high likelihood that they could, which is really all you need to know. Uh, I also got, holy mackerel, I got a $200 donation from Metroid Dread 313 saying, I hope to see some good stuff today. Metroid Dread, didn't you already donate $20? Now you're donating $200? $200? How did I miss that? Why did my Camilla emote not go off? Metroid Dread, thank you very, very much for all the support. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you very, very, very much. I don't know if the, the, Subscriber things are backed up or what's going on right now, but thank you very, very much, Metroid Dread. Wow, that is a Nakama right there. Nakama! Thank you very, very much. Shout out, by the way, to... Bro, here it comes. Thank you.
you very, very much. I knew it was going to have to go off at one point. Thank you very, very, very much for bringing the hype with the thick $200 donation. Greatly appreciate it. You are the best. Everyone who's in here right now is the best. How do we already have 1,500 people in here? The direct hasn't even started yet. You guys are here for the hype. You're like me. We're, we've been in a desert of Nintendo news. We're waiting for the hype. We've been sitting there hoping and praying they would finally deliver, and they did. Four minutes away from the next Nintendo Direct. I cannot wait. Welcome, 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 one and all. Thank you to Chris V for becoming a member. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you to Kelsey Dia coming through. I saw you actually on Twitter mentioning this to me, saying first stream of yours I ever joined was last year's February Direct. I am super excited to be here. Yo, we got another donation. What is this? From Gagan. I will shout you out in just a second as soon as I finish Kelsey's. Good Lord. Thank you, everybody. You are the best. Kelsey said... First stream of yours ever since I joined since the February Direct. Super excited to be here and see what Nintendo has to show us. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much. Gagan coming through with a $50 donation saying, Roger, I want to know that I'm really excited to be here watching the Direct with you and excited to see all the brand new announcements today. I am a huge fan of yours for a long time now and I want to give you as much support as possible. You are the GOAT. But I want to address all of you who are watching this right now. You being here, watching me live, liking the stream, Watching, you know, not even having to give me money. Just being here and watching the direct with me, sharing in this hype, that's all I need, okay? My YouTube channel got hacked last month. Many of you already know this. My entire catalog of videos was wiped. My channel got terminated. I've been working very hard over the course of the past month and a half to bring everything back. I've been doing four streams a week. I've been on the grind. So all I ask for you, if you're sitting, sharing in this hype right now, right before this direct starts, if, if you have it in your heart, click that subscribe button. Just do it. Bring back the hype so then you don't get, get uh, any missed notifications for the next Nintendo Direct. I can't even speak right now because I'm so hyped. Just click that subscribe button. It's free. It costs you nothing. And if you don't, in the words of former president of Nintendo, my mutual on Twitter who I love dearly, Reggie fils what's wrong with you? Subscribe to me. You're the best. I love you all. Thank you very much. We are two minutes away. Shout out once again to everybody who's in here. Thank you very, very much for being here today. Look at this. I, I, I can't even believe this. It, the chat's moving fast. The donations are going fast. I love you all. You're the best. Let me open up the other screen. You guys can see what I'm working with. Boom. Right monitor. We are here. Thank you to Sletton saying hype. Thank you to RPG Genius for gifting five YouTube memberships. You're the GOAT. NES said you were my go-to direct YouTuber for years now. I love you. I love you as well. Thank you. All of you who are here, Parley Miles say, I never miss a direct with Roger. You're the best. Noob Queen in here. My goat mod saying, I've arrived. I am here, babes. Welcome. I don't know if we're going to get anything Resident Evil for you today. I know you love Resident Evil, but... Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my chat. In case there's One Piece spoilers, get them the heck out of here. Thank you very much. Zani Fan said, I just want you to know I've never unsubbed. You're the GOAT. Max said, Roger is so real right now. I love you. I do. I, you guys are the best. And Nintendo Direct Days for me are like mini Christmases. Every time we get Nintendo Direct Days, we get new information on new games. I'm excited. I can't wait. Dude, 30 seconds away, bro. 30 seconds away. Thank you again to Mitchell for becoming a member. Love you, I appreciate you. Swole Chihuahua, amazing name, saying, I've never watched a full direct with you before, but I'm here today. Love the vibe, you're the best. Eric, my guy Eric, and you're saying, I just got here. Welcome, Eric. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Roshan saying, this is the place to be. 1,700 live viewers before the direct even starts. You love to see it. Here we go. It is time. It's 2 p.m. It, it's, it's now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. It's on 1080p, we're good to go. I'll make sure to close this off so I make sure that I have this at the best quality. Here we go, it's starting, thank you everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to turn off the donation thing right now though, hold on. Thank you very, very much, appreciate you all. I just don't want to interrupt in the actual stream. Thank you, I love you, thank you. We are here, Nintendo Direct, 2-8-2023. Okay, what are we opening with? What is the opener for the first Direct of 2023? What are we getting? All right, great. I got my Pikmin shirt at the ready. Show me what you got. All right, come on. Pikmin, baby. Pikmin 4. Online bingo battle. That's what I want. I love that we were drumming up the hype earlier in the stream, and now it's like we have this nice, calm little music. <laughs> Holy macro, man. Oh, it's just good to see Pikmin again. Look at those little cuties. 
It's like the burrowing snag grip, but they're babies. I'm ready, man. It's been too long. I love Pikmin 3 Deluxe, too. That game ruled. Who is this? New little buddy? Is this Olimar's kid? Are we gonna get new Pikmin types? We'll see. I like the design of the new spaceship, too. <laughs> the red Pikmin. Yeah, I remember you. <laughs> oh, man. It's just, it's so cool to see a new Pikmin game in 2023. Environments look cute. I'm already seeing some fun little things in the background. Okay. Pulling some roots out of the ground. What is that thing? What the heck? Got some viewfinder binoculars. Okay. Zoom power, Hatsune Mei, fantastic. What are the ice Pikmin? Let it go! I got some frozen babies in this, okay! I like this, ice Pikmin's a cute idea. And they got the little yellow flowers on their heads. The cold never bothered me anyway, let's go. What is this, we got a puppy? We had an Obi Pikmin? Who is this little guy? He can drag the corpses of our enemies? Shepard, who is this? Oh, this is cute! Oh, we can put him on his back and he takes it across the water! Oh, so what is the little toy? Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, Ochi? Ochi? We got Ice Pikmin Ochi Colin. Yo, we got some boss battles? Okay! Ooh! Okay! Metric Prime looking spider thing? Disgusting. Wasn't that thing the final boss of the first Pikmin? And now it's like a regular enemy? I love Ochi already. I love the Ice Pikmin too. This is cute. <laughs> also, there's a lot of them. There's like four little, little dudes. Oh, that makes sense too, because it's Pikmin 4. Beautiful, looks fantastic, give me a release date. That's all I need. Release date, please. Before or after Zelda, online bingo battle, please! Ooh! You got the Blood Moon from Zelda and Pikmin now. You get to fight them at nighttime. July! Perfect! Perfect! July 21st, 2023. Perfect timing. Hello, great! Great, 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 great. Fantastic thing to start Nintendo off Direct. with. Fantastic! I love it! That was the latest trailer. Fantastic! For Pikmin 4. Ochi! Creature was spotted. What kinds of things will it show us? I love Ochi. Please look forward to more information in the future. I'm ready Let's for it. I also just realized I just realized I wasn't recording, so it's gonna be a while before I upload that highlight. This new but still, Hero is a real gem. Okay, let's see. Introducing oh, oh, Volume oh, oh, Three oh, oh, of the oh, oh, Xenoblade wait. Chronicles Three expansion. Oh, pack. she's cute. Let's see. Masha. Extraordinary. In what now? Okay. Say hello to Masha, the newest hero and a refined lapidarist. She can use special ore to craft accessories that can bestow various effects. Okay, interesting. Battles with Obi's going nuts for Masha. You can hear her in the background. Select only one character. Rogue like challenge battles. Arch Sage's gauntlet. For every win, you learn more heroes. Okay. And special abilities. Okay. Rack up victories with your heroes and set your sights on the final stage. Okay, you got some bosses. You might also That's cool. Get special in game outfits as a reward. And I like Marsha's design. I love the uni one. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me why. Oh, Elvis! Really oh my god! Not yes! Grodoprex! He's a hot Bro! Elvis, Grodoprex, and Shulk! Like killing Granddad wasn't enough for you. Volume oh three my Zeno God! Chronicles Three Expansion Pass for the See, this is what I wanted. Three game launched what? On the Nintendo Switch system. Oh, that what? Oh, but that's the. Shake it, amigo. <sighs> that's not. That's ex Two, that's four. One. That's four. Yeah. That's four. This was three. Samba de amigo. Brand new Cute game. Samba de amigo game. All right. I'm cha cha and thinking about the Xenoblade things. Yo, so like wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I know people like Samba de Amigo. I gotta turn this down so I can actually Follow focus and talk to the chat. Wait, this is cute. But Xenoblade, Ch chat, clarify this for me because I was losing it. 2,200 people in here. I love you all. Quick, quick thing. I just gotta know. The thing was Shulk, Adult Rex, and Elvis. 
That is wave four. That's not wave three. That's wave four. Right? Make sure to so show wave up three is the 15th, too. that's this week, or next week, excuse me. Online the other stuff is wave four, party. okay. Those I just, I wanted to double check, because I'm like, I'm dropping what I'm doing, I'm streaming on the 15th, and I'm streaming Xenoblade. But no, that's not the case, okay. Four I cannot believe that, you're showing Elvis? Of genres from Elvis? The world. Like, that's all, oh, that's all I wanted when I said at the end of my Xenoblade playthrough, when I was like, oh, I wanted him to do more with the characters that existed, that's what I wanted! I'm so happy already, this is great. I love this, great. Style 7 coming back! Fashion for fashion. I know Nintendo is losing Welcome his mind right now, very happy dreamer. about this. this is oh, this isn't Style Savvy, this is Fashion Dreamer. Express yourself. This is this is style savvy, bro. Stylish influencer. That's what this is. And you're in luck. They might Tons call it something else. This is style savvy, no doubt about it. It looks like style savvy. Give them a it like smells like style savvy. Style. It's style savvy. Or suggest new outfits for them to grow as a Reagan would probably like this actually. I I still can't get over the Elvis thing. Now Elvis and Adult Show. We gotta go back and rewatch that at some point. Bro! Choose from over 1,000 design options. Then add a I, 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 I'm sorry, I have to, to tweet. I'm sorry, I got to tweet. I'm sorry. I, got, I have to tweet. Let me open this up. I have to tweet. You can I'm, gonna, I'm tweeting in all caps. People are wearing by Elvis. Shulk and Mix Rex. And match your favorites to create new there we go. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Okay. There we go. I have to, online, that's unbelievable to me. That's like exactly what I wanted. That was the best way to start brain. this. And Pikmin looks great. Thrilled. Got Thrilled. Eye for fashion? Then get stylish huh. when fashion I'm streamer sweating Dave already. I gotta take off this jacket kind of soon. Switch this year. Marvelous, great. Available 2023. It's been eight minutes and we already were fed. Delve into these dark worlds. Okay. Dracula's Castle beckons in this. Oh right, this DLC is at the Game Awards. The, the Return to Castlevania Dead Cells thing. Dead Cells. This is cool. I never played the original then Dead Cells. The I know. Isn't this the game that guy plagiarized the review Bell for on IGN? And I'm pretty sure that's this game, but that's the only experience I have with this game is that. But this is cool, man. I like this. Man, oh man, oh man. I gotta calm down after that Xenoblade thing. That Xenoblade one original covers took me out. It took me out. Literally, if they do a Zelda trailer and like anything Metroid, it's done. I know there's Castlevania fans happy about this though. I think this looks cool. Uh, Tron? Enter a new grid in this narrative puzzle adventure set within the Tron universe. Did you guys know they actually just opened up a Tron ride in Disney World? Or they're doing like previews for it or something? But it's over in like 10 seconds. You get on the thing, you go your around in a loop, and then you're done. The alliances you forge will impact your this is cool though. And the entire I'm sure there's server. fans of Tron out there that are super Tron duper hyped. Identity launches first for consoles on Nintendo Really, my only experience with April. Tron was watching the movies for the first time and then seeing Who's it in there? Kingdom <gasps> Go Slick! Wait, is that no way! No way! Port of well, Ghost Trick! That can't be good. No way! Time-bending murder mystery Ghost Trick returns in HD. Oh! After kicking the bucket and becoming a ghost, Obi's losing it right now. That's because the ghost just possessed Obi. Bro! Powers, you can even ghost Trick like this woman and change any ill-fated. Uh, this is. If you haven't played this game. Let me tell you right now, ghost it's trick. worth it. Phantom Detective. It's Spirits a really, really good game on the DS. This summer. Wow, Ghost Trick is coming back. Two connected worlds. Okay, what's this? Suspenseful thriller. Dude, Ghost Trick. Shark Pop is going at hundred dollars yelling Ghost Trick. Clearly, I'm not alone. They are killing it already. There is some good stuff in here. What is this? Deca Police. Who is this developed by? I missed it because I was losing myself over Ghost Trick. This looks kind of cool. It's got like a cool anime visual style to it. A little open city you can walk around. Jewel. Oh, oh, okay. There's like an investigation aspect to it. A little bit of Professor Layton, a little bit of Ace Attorney, a little bit of Astral Chain, maybe. Oh, it's tactical? Oh, this, I think I would like this actually. He has Joy-Con handcuffs? <laughs> Who is this? 
Harvard turned into a cat. Now you see they did this and now there's a whole other audience of people that are gonna play this game. Holy mackerel. Monkey Thief also mentioned in the chat saying, uh, Ghost Trick, if you try to buy the original cartridge, goes for $300 now. So the fact they're re-releasing that is awesome. I like this. Deca Police. Oh, it's by level 5! That's why I said it has latent vibes. Cool! Okay, here's the bayonet of prequel. Alright, they're firing. Man, it's, it's 11 minutes in and there's already all of this. Experience Bayonetta's origins as a young witch named Cereza. See, I actually am pretty excited about this for one reason. Which is that, you guys all know this, I can't play the Bayonetta games. Like, those type of action games literally make me sick. Astral Chain, Bayonetta 1, Bayonetta 2, Devil May Cry. Those kind of action games, or like even that hi-fi game that just came out on Xbox, same thing. If, if the camera isn't focused on the the character and it's just focused on the action I always get sick both witch and demon at the same time I'm good with stuff like God of War but ferocity infamous all that kind of stuff serious and Bayonetta, I get sick playing it but this I'd be down to try it looks cool in battle good art style dude Alvis man cannot attack and can only support Cheshire by magically binding still coming down from that xenoblade thing that was so cool hold an enemy in place did not expect that today at all or stop an aggressive one to focus on another. I mean, this, this looks neat. Character's abilities to I like this a lot. Huh. The duo will gain strength as they continue <laughs> oh, their journey. Whew. By obtaining more powers, new paths can be opened, and battles can yeah, be this looks really neat. swayed in your also, favor. Also, I heard the ice sound effect. Can ice, Cereza Pikmin, and, and Pikmin 4. Find their happily ever after? And little Ochi the dog, I love him. Bayonetta Origins. Oh, Cereza I'm so glad they the flew through this. I was worried this was going to be like 10 Nintendo minutes of the direct. Thank 17. you, Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. Nintendo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How was that? Great. Next, please You're take a look at this. Oh, the Splatoon expansion. Of course, of course. This is probably going to be story mode stuff. The new underground stuff with Marina and, and Pearl. I like the two of them. I'm excited to see more of this. I'm going to be honest, though. I, I loved the single-player Splatoon 3, but I kind of fell off of playing the multiplayer. Even though I really enjoyed the game, I fell off it a little bit. So I'm down to jump back in. And these expansions are always phenomenal whenever they do them. Octo expansion is fantastic. Oh, this is the original... Inkopolis? Yeah, it is! There's Callie Marie and there was the little amiibo thing. Interesting! Interesting! Okay, so you get to go to the world of Splatoon 1. The Splatoon 3 expansion pass. This paid DLC includes The classic two music, too. We got Splat Attack, Attack playing. The first wave is Inkopolis. Make cool. this Splat-tastic place from the original Splatoon Oh, I game. love that you can re-explore it now in HD. This is Booyah. Jalonzo's back. Some pretty nifty weapons and gear. Da -da -da -da. Spot a few Who are these little guys? Alongside new shopkeepers. Products here are the same what? as the Tempura ones in Splatsville. Tempura guys? So Who is this? Fred Crumbs? Fred Crumbs? Are strongest. <laughs> Salmon runs. <laughs> okay. I want to eat him. The show. And also, those guys are Sheldon's kids, by the way. The same way here too. Interesting. Of course. You got Splatfest happening here too. So can you pick and choose where the Squid Sisters will you go will during a Splatfest? Here during Splatfest. Need a mix of old school and freshness? So you can then come over here or you can go to the new one. I kind of like the new one though, because the new one has the full floats and everything. The first wave but this is cute. DLC launches this spring. Looks like a real party down there, all ten of them. But this is cool. That's cool. Oh, what's this? See, I want to see more of the Marina and Pearl stuff, though. Okay. I also love the Splatoon lore. I feel like the lore in Splatoon is one of the best things about it. Okay. Plane is an octoling again. Cool. In a world without color or something? So this is going to be Chicory Splatoon? Interesting. 
Seems like there's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. Splatoon 3 expansion pass. Side order. It, oh, because of order and chaos. Oh, okay, cool. So they probably knew they were going to do this all along. They're showing what order looked like at the end of Splatoon 2 and what chaos looked like. Oh, this is actually really neat. Wave I like that a lot. Inkopolis launches cool. This spring. I'm Way down for both of those. I wish we would have seen more of the side order thing. Because, like, the Inkopolis hub is cute, but I'm going to go there once. But the side order the thing, I love. Three expansion packs will be available okay. later today on Nintendo eShop. Great. I thought it was already available, but cool. I know there's a lot of people who are thrilled about this. I like it. Many people have played Splatoon 3 since its launch. Yep. Thank you all very much. Man, it hasn't even been 20 we minutes players yet. Players will be able to enjoy the game even more with They're the killing it today. Paid expansion pack. This is good. Please look forward to more information about What have they shown? Pikmin. The future. Bayonetta. Let's see some more uh, Nintendo Switch headlines. Xenoblade, Splatoon, everything. More headlines. Okay. Samba de Amigo. Adventure Illusion Blades, Island? Mickey and friends on Illusion Island. Oh, I think this was already at the Game Mickey Awards, Mouse, too, if Minnie I'm remembering Mouse, this correctly. Donald Duck and Goofy. We saw this somewhere. Embark on a new adventure to find three magical books and save the mysterious island of Monoth. Run. The art style's really cute. Jump and swing to explore every nook and cranny of Very the Very colorful, island. cool little environments. Harkens back to the old Castle of Illusion games or whatever. Abilities. I never grew up with those, so places, I don't really have the nostalgia for it, even areas. though you guys know how much I love Disney. But this is cute. Large Definitely an audience for this, for sure. Ground pound barriers to open new spaces and glide through the air to reach distant platforms and hidden areas. <laughs> Each character's personality well, that's banjo, I guess it's not goofy. Up to four pals locally can you guys are right, it does kind of look a little Share bit like Rayman, doesn't it? Health. The one that was on Wii U. Get your health back by hugging each other. Or drop a rope to <laughs> lend a hand. Cute. Work together to save Monoth, and you might discover new paths. All right, Donald's going off. While exploring the island, you'll meet unusual allies and dangerous foes. Some jellyfish creatures. Study their movements carefully to figure out the secrets to victory. The music sounds very Disneyland-esque, too. On a high-flying adventure in Got Disney a full Illusion orchestra, Island. cute. Swinging onto Nintendo Switch July Definitely not playing that. It's coming out like the same month as Pikmin, so no e chance. But cool for the people who want it. Very cool. More emblems are on. The Camilla! Way. Oh! I know that silhouette anywhere. To future I know that silhouette, baby girl's coming into the game. That's Camilla. Way to include Hector. There's Hector, Camilla. She, Camilla's in there. I saw her. I saw her. Get Hector attack. off the screen. Show me my waifu number Sword, one from Fates. Soren's cool. I like the Soren's here. Show me Camilla. Wide area. Show me Camilla. My baby girl. Emblem of revelation. Emblem of revelation. Camilla in Fire Emblem Engage. It's done. Wave it's and done. Crom O, Robin O, get out of here. Camilla. Overwhelm foes with sword and magic attack. All I needed. Oh, Veronica from the heroes. Emblem of heroes. Oh, this is cool. Summon additional allies to Oh, this is really cool. What? Challenge newly You summon emblems as part of her moveset? Emblems. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man! And in wave four, Camilla finally called Belzinalog will be unlocked. Okay. Thank you for answering our prayers. Who is it that's putting your world in danger? Now? I feel like this might be spoilers. I haven't beaten the game yet, so I don't know what's going on here. So I almost don't want to look. Wave two of the Fire Emblem Engage. Camilla! The Fire Emblem Engage game. Camilla, the what today? System. Later today. It's time! I'm not even done with my playthrough yet, and I can play with Camilla? It is time! Take control of your destiny. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This is Reverie. A world Fall in which of deities known as aspirations dwell. When a megacorp endangers the harmony okay. between Reverie and our Man, world, Nintendo's cooking today. Wait, Cam Camilla thing, wait, wait. To be fair, chat, 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 chat. In this Did the Camilla thing happen your divine in Wave 2, or is that a future wave that I missed? Between worlds, or is that something that comes out later today? Can I actually play with her in my first playthrough? Is that a thing? 
Oh, Many she's wave three. Story okay. Paths, along with a riveting soundtrack by <sighs> Celeste composer Lena Rain, set the stage for your journey. I, I'm literally, I'm Eventually, sweating. I gotta take this off. Side with one of the six I gotta take this off. Like Bond. I am so happy they Power. did that. Or chaos to change the story. They could have chosen any other to heroes from fates. Do you aspire? And they didn't. Harmony, the they knew. Reverie, they knew I was playing the game. They chose Nintendo Camilla Switch this over Rioma. These games will have you roll in. Oh, RPG. So this is gonna be Octopath 2 probably, which I can't wait Octopath for. Plan that next week. Is just around the corner. <laughs> This had After me popping off Nintendo during the last Direct, too. You guys know I love the HD 2D games. There's a demo. Yo, I said this on Twitter! That the demo would be out today. We're playing this, away. for sure. Which path we are playing this. First? Who will your allies uh, be? And where will your journey lead you? Yes, Venture yes, yes. Dude, look at Jaws in, in there, too. Traveler the sprites, the music, everything. I love Switch, this. February great, 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 great. Keep it rolling. Katamari? Run around and collect oodles of objects. In this Is this We Love Katamari? We oh! Love Katamari. Okay. And Reverie. Lord what is with the all these things being called Reverie? Zoo. And space? Cool. New features we Love Katamari was a great game. I'm happy it's getting a re-roll. Challenges. Very cool. I love me. Na 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 na. Now you can take selfies. Very cute. We love Katamari re-roll plus. I love this. Reverie comes to Nintendo Switch June 2nd. I love In this. Addition, I love this. I love this. Nintendo Switch online members can play a free game trial of Katamari Damashi re-roll. Oh, that's the first one. I already own the first one. We're good. I got real. Combine the powers of the sun and moon to see of stars in this turn-based. Yo, we love Katamari. Did they say a release date? I'm sorry, I was talking. I didn't even. Breathtaking. I didn't hear it. I'm getting too hyped. I'm sorry, everybody. I gotta calm down a little bit. And devastate foes with timed attacks in battle. This looks neat. Complement your journey with enchanting melodies and retro-inspired tunes. I love the sprite work on that dragon over there too. Oh, okay. Tunes from the Mitsuda, Ooh, okay. the composer for the game. Also, Sea shout out to Chained Echoes. I haven't beaten August that game yet. It's on my backlog. I've been playing it here and there. Demo will on Switch, that game today. is really, really good. Nintendo and it's got an art shop. style similar to this. Duke it out. Okay. Free to play Dodgeball. Multiplayer showdown. Form two teams of She's cool looking. Challenge others to lightning fast okay, Hamtaro Air got a little buff. That's cool. I like this. Striker skills to dominate each match. Change the course trajectory from afar. Dude, if you would have told me this direct started Block before this direct started that it was gonna advantage. have Camilla and Elvis in it, or knock opponents out of the arena with explosive I'm moves, Omega Striker. I also Slides feel like the pacing for this one is April really 27th. good. I feel like there's little things here and there that I don't really care about, but there hasn't been like a string of stuff that I'm completely uninterested in for more than like two or three. Sprawling labyrinth. Okay, what is this? A collection of the first three Etrian oh, Odyssey games neat. is coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, I've never played this, but I know that people like these games. Treasures this is cool. Within a massive labyrinth. Its paths are intertwined. And this is a art style. Lurk in the shadows. A blank map is your only guide. So I'm assuming this was obviously a DS By game. Drawing the map as you explore, because you can progress. That's just straight up further. take it off the DS. You're the two screens and everything. Venture into the labyrinth with a lot of DS ports today, man. As the guild leader, hopefully that's a good sign for like Kidicris. defending protector. Please, the ultra Nintendo, you got 16 minutes. Plenty of time to show a trailer for Kidicris. is fraught with danger. Should also, though, I will battle, say, if this is the RPG segment, and learn my skills, guess is if that Bitten Kaidos thing is real, we'll prob or Botten Kaidos, however you say it, that's probably going to be during this bunch of announcements. They'll probably show it during this. Plus, take advantage of new difficulty options okay. and a new auto-mapping function for smoother exploration. Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection. June? Man, and all Nintendo this stuff is coming out so June soon, first. too. It's like Each their schedule the is stacked will also right now. Be available Lots of good Switch games. E -shop. Man, oh man, oh man. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. Get shadow drop! They're gonna shadow drop ready. it. I'm so glad they're finally acknowledging this, but please Calling wait a week. Please. Strategy fans. Da -da 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 a couple of months away. Couple of months away. Max, Sammy. 
and more in two okay, no! campaigns, each one filled with colorful Dude, look at the cutscenes! action. Oh man! Flex your strategic muscles across. They said a couple months zones. away though, so design your own maps and share them with friends. Oh, I love this! Plus, I love this so much. Local and this this tech. announcement was one of my favorites of the Advanced E3 Wars that it was announced. Oh, thank God! Comes to Nintendo Switch April 21st. That's after I get back from Italy. That's perfect timing. I literally am gonna get back from Italy to play Peak. I love this. Here's Kirby. Oh man! Nintendo is killing it today. The Kirby's return to they could have said Deluxe we're gonna game. drop it now. No, Roger. April. Magalore, the interdimensional traveler from the main adventure has lost his powers. I love this. And must escape the realm between dimensions. Octopath Traveler 2. Camilla and Fire Emblem. You have plenty of time to beat Engage. Octopath Traveler 2. Super Nintendo World. Italy trip, come back, boom, advance wars. All you Fire. Can do now is a basic attack. You're playing as Magalore, okay? This looks cool. So they're getting a new to little epilogue. To regain Magalore's powers, you'll need to collect magic points by defeating enemies. Okay, so it's like a little Metroidvania esque. Magic points. Get new moves. The music's really good. And enhanced. Okay. Improve Magalore's levitation. And the Xenoblade DLC increase too. Increase his attack range. And Pikmin's in July. The you restore his powers uh. is up to you. There are over 20 interdimensional stages to I explore. I love this. This actually looks pretty fun to too. Four players on the same Because I had no real interest in this port, this but like a Metroidvania Kirby seems kind of interesting to me. And I've Magalore learned to not count out the extra little epilogue stuff that Nintendo does for their re-releases of platformers. Bowser's Fury was godlike, like one of the best platformers mode. on the Switch. I love it. So this is cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. After today's Nintendo Direct, a demo will be available on Cute. Nintendo eShop. I'm putting this back on again. I'm getting kind of chilly now. Specially arranged demo with select stages and, <laughs> and Veronica in Fire Emblem Engage too. I know to that is Deluxe super cool. And Nintendo I love all the different stuff where she was February summoning 24th. emblems from heroes. Pre-orders are available awesome. now. All right, on great. Nintendo great, great, great. Oh my god, all the viewers in here. This is unbelievable, dude. We hope you're looking. We still have 12 the minutes. They can literally spend the rest of this on Zelda, and I'm good. Deluxe. But they're probably not going Here's to. some news about Nintendo Switch Online. Oh, Please Game Boy! Look Game Boy! It's Game Boy, it's Game Boy, it's Game Boy. It's Game Boy. Dude, did I call this or did I call this? It's Game Boy. Boom! Roger's base strikes again. Show me Gen 1. Show me Gen 1. Game Boy games are being and added Gen to Nintendo 2 Pokemon. Switch Online. On Nintendo Good call, Switch, Roger's you can base. play these games anytime, people in the anywhere. chat saying, here we Just go, like Roger called it. In the day. Link's Awakening, we got the original one on there. Tetris, they got Tetris, perfect. Let's introduce the games perfect, that will be perfect, perfect. at launch. Okay, oh, these are the ones available at launch. Tetris. Show me, Arrange the following they're never going to do it. Show me for, for who the frog tolls official localization. Super Mario Land That's what I want. Six golden or the coins. Wario Lands, Reclaim or Game & Watch Gallery. Mario stole from you. Golden Coins is great. The Link's Awakening Zelda, is great. Link's Awakening DS. Fantastic. Awaken the Windfish to escape. Kobe I do Adelaide. love the remake game though, so I'll probably never play this one. But I like that it's there for people. Gargoyles Quest. Oh, interesting the choice. Okay. From the Ghost and oh, Metroid Two is probably in here too. I'm betting. Game yes, Game Watch. Watch yeah, this is the good one. Game of Watch Gallery Watch Three titles. with Yoshi's Cookie and stuff in the single game. Oh, good. In the dark. The new oh. Metal. Is the there a chance for them to do Metal Gear Babble or whatever? Metroid 2, a Metroid 2? Very sense. good! Destroy the Metroid. Alone in the Dark is a deep SR cut. That's cool. Very cool. I like this. Wario, Wario Land 3! Traverse a world Classic that changes game. between day and night. Based Love on your seeing actions. this. Love seeing this. Kirby, of course. Maybe they won't show Pokemon in this, because I feel like if they do end up doing Pokemon, they'll probably announce it during a Pokemon Presents on Pokemon Day later this month. So they might not show Pokemon during this. You can use the Game Boy. That's a great Game lineup Pocket, though for the launch. Or Game Boy Color Screen. That's Pocket. also cool that you could switch between. Players can play compatible games you know what I actually also really want them to put online. on? I want them to put on Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. More games will be Oracle, added in the future. Oracle! Oh, my trading card game! And Tilt and Tumble! Oh! And. Oh! Oh! Nintendo! Nintendo! They don't miss! Oh my Game Boy gosh! Advance games are being oh my Nintendo gosh! Switch Online Plus expansion pack. They don't miss. Nintendo doesn't miss. Play at launch, dude. 
GBA and Game Boy? Super Mario Advance 4. Okay, Super all the Mario that's Brothers fine. Whatever, you can kind of play them in All-Stars already, so that's fine. Show me Pokemon Liger Emerald. Show me Mega Micro. Original WarioWare is good. That's good. The of the good. Fast micro good, 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 good. Kuru, 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 Kuru in. Guide the spinning stick this to the goal. This is the Japan-only game that never came to North America. I all oh, wow, finally get to play Super that. Circuit. Race Super Circuit's cool. Mario Kart game created wow, Kururin! Oh, the only good Luigi, Mario and Luigi Superstar, game. Superstar Saga. Saga. Let's go. Venture through a Let's go. And fight back when the series was good. Attacks. Man, rest in peace. Fantastic. Love to see that. Minish Cap, Zelda, fantastic. Minish Cap. Shrink to miniature we, are, we have so many games to play, adventure. man. This is unbelievable. Local and online play. And it's all got online play. Games. I love it. And I love it. Players can play together. I love it. Show me some other future games. Amazing Near Fusion, the original Fire Emblem, well. Golden Sun, and F Zero, bro. After this presentation, Woo! you can play these Game Boy titles with the Nintendo Switch online oh! membership, or play both Game After Boy. After the Game presentation, Boy so today they're already out Switch today. Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. I'm playing Minish Cap tonight. I'm sitting in bed playing Minish Cap, dude. Select Game Boy titles will be playable on Nintendo Switch. I love it. I love it, I love and it. Golden Sun, Nintendo too. Direct, you'll be able to play oh. Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles. Golden Sun is coming back. We can stream Golden Sun. Please look forward to more information about Nintendo Switch oh. Online and Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion This is wild, man. And Oracle, the Oracle Let's games more headlines. on Game Boy? And they got more still before we get to Zelda? The original oh, my God! What did I say? Switch. Prime 1 Remastered? Oh my gosh! All of my dreams are coming true! Good lord, this looks gorgeous! Oh! It's time! Look at Tozo Ruins! Oh! Oh! Fenadrana Drifts! Drop imminent! Dude! Dude! This is looking nice! It's clean! It's remastered! Oh! Oh! Da -da 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 -da. Dude, this looks gorgeous. They didn't just straight up like take the game. They actually changed things. Thardis, my guy, the rock monster boss. Ridley, Metal Ridley. Dude, look how clean that looks. I'm playing this. This is a stream game. This is a stream game. This is a stream game. Metroid Prime Remastered, I'm playing this on stream. Maybe not the whole thing, but I'm definitely gonna do a stream of it, guaranteed. No Prime doubt about it. Originally Bro. On Nintendo Game Oh system. my gosh, so dude. They're Nintendo killing it today. Switch. I I, I don't see a world in which someone can watch this and be like, Nintendo did not have a great direct today. This is fire. There's more to this alien planet than meets the eye. Bro! Visors are the key to your adventure. And, the, and it looks so good. Shout out to Metroid Dread donating hundred dollars saying we got something Metroid. Cheese it man donating saying I got my amazing mirror, we got this. A certain visor may be required. Oh when hostile creatures attack. It looks so good! And I've been waiting to replay it. I have the Prime Trilogy on Wii, but I was waiting, I'm like, they're gonna do it. There were too many rumors that this was real, it had to be real. Oh, this remaster adds new and tools to controls, up. allowing you to move around while separately changing your point of view. Yes! Yes! Also Motion control, control and moving around dual sticks. Yes! The Dude, look at how good! Other control oh! Options. Explore Talon 4 with your preferred... This looks style. so good! The digital version of Metroid digital version, Remastered okay. launches on Nintendo eShop later Shut today. The Shut physical up. version of the game Shut will be available in up. stores February Today? 22nd. Today? Put your master detective skills to the test. This Today? is the Great Detective Organization. Today! Yuma, a trainee detective, and Shinigami, the spirit haunting Like him, what? Will solve the strange incident in the Kanai Ward. A city ruthlessly controlled by Amaterasu Corporation. They're shadow dropping it today. You'll investigate I thought these incidents if anything was getting it shadow dropped, I thought it'd be advanced wars. Not a previously Each unannounced is a supernatural supernatural ability ability dude. That can I'm sweating hard during investigations. Mimic body types and voices. We still haven't even seen Zelda yet. Like what? Detect heartbeats and whispers. You know they're gonna end with a Zelda trailer. 
This is this is and so wild. Past crime scenes <gasps> with post-cognition. These Game Boy, can be shared Game Boy Advance, both so today. Metroid Prime Remaster today. So Advance Wars, wait until April so your boy Rogers base can beat Fire Emblem Engage. Camilla and Fire Emblem Engage. Elvis in Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC. You can come out in July and look it awesome. And you have a little oops. Whatever the hell this is, this looks great. Cover the truth. Master Today. Archives, Rain Code, launches on Nintendo Switch. Today, that literally, Metroid is today. Oh my gosh! Big Titles is real too then! Flight once more. Bro, what is going on the today? The collection of both bot and Kaido Nintendo games, really said we were quiet for a reason. We've been system, cooking in the background. To Nintendo Switch. After a long and peaceful Bro. era of Bro. floating islands above Earth, the Empire's conspiracy This is like the direct closer. of GameCube games and DS games the that needed to get new life breathed into them on a Don't system that's actually good. Empire oh, I can't believe this, man. Eras of war. I can't believe Metro Prime is today. Your travels, you'll visit it's today. I have to stream it. And team up with I'm streaming tonight. Allies. We're streaming on Twitch tonight. Twitch.tv slash Rogers Base. We're streaming tonight. It's Battles happening. It's done. Or I'm going to stream tonight here on YouTube. I don't know. I don't care. Follow me on both. Your Something's gonna happen tonight with Metro Prime. I have to. Attributes and combinations of your cars. I'm gonna be slicing up all these reactions and putting them up there. And you got the music from smashing you too. Oh my gosh! You'll need to make split-second decisions. I got work I gotta do before I can stream. But tonight we are playing Metro Prime. Guaranteed. Come to light in the skies above and the lands below. How did they do this? Botan Kaidos one And this is summer. So this is the Bandai game. So it wasn't Mario Baseball. It was Botan Kaidos. Okay. Dive into your new Is this ever a life? Oh no, this is just fantasy life. I should have known when it said fantasy life. My idiot self was like, is it ever a oasis? No, this is fantasy life. Okay. So this is a new fantasy life from level five. The first one was very good. Shout out to 84 Play. I forgot who it was on that podcast who recommended the first fantasy life. That game is excellent. I like that they're bringing it back. To make the Bro, I cannot grow. believe Metroid is today. Become a woodcutter. I can't Anger. believe it. Cook. I really, truly Huxman. can't believe it. Paladin, magician, <sighs> and more. Take on different roles to develop the island. Like every rumor was true. Rebuild. Metroid Prime, Bates Kaidos, is yours to live. Game Boy NSO, everything. After 1,000 years, also two level five games in this direct. We got this, begin. and we got the police one. Fantasy life of the girl who steals time. Cool, 2023, great. And with Zelda, it's a wrap. Layton? Oh my God! Oh my God! No way! No way! No way! No way! No way! Professor Lynn! What? There's no way! There's no way! What is this? What are you looking at? A brand new course is zooming into wave four of the Mario Kart Lynn's Deluxe Booster back. Course Pass DLC. Professor Lynn, it's coming back! What? There's no way! Birdo, who originally hit the track in Mario Kart Double Dash, is characters. also being added to what Wave 4. Hell? Professor Layton is back! I can't believe it, dude! They're bringing a new Professor Layton! It's a new era! They're not Wave dying! Wave 4 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe There's Booster no Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Professor game Layton's races onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. Professor break. Layton is what got me my start with Active all Nintendo of this! Switch Online Plus Professor Layton is the reason I have a YouTube channel today. It's the no reason I cannot the believe this, man. The DLC can also man. be purchased on its own. I can't believe this, bro. <laughs> Professor Layton is back? They're doing a new Professor Layton game. And Metroid is out today! I can't, my heart is jumping! I know Professor Layton steampunk when you're walking around in the real world. I, I can't believe it. That's like dream game 
Never thought it was gonna happen. Dude, and Battle Network is still coming out in April. Toy Fair April's gonna be banging. April is gonna slap. We got Battle Network. We got, oh, jeez. Oh my, wait, 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 what? Oh, I thought it was the GameCube game. Never mind, I'm wrong. We got Battle Network. And we've got Advance Wars in the same month. I cannot believe Professor Layton is coming back. There's, there, I, I cannot believe that. I truly, my mind is blown. Layton and Metroid. Game said it's a good day to be a Nintendo fan. You're damn right it is. Professor Layton. Like the resurgence of level five is something I never would have thought would have been in this direct ever. We are feasting. And you know they're gonna end with Zelda. You already know that's what they're gonna do. You know they're gonna end with Zelda. After all of that. They don't even, that's how packed the direct was with good stuff. Is they said, oh yeah, by the way, remaster Tales of Symphonia, here you go. And that Blanc game looks so cute. Thank you for staying with us. Thank so you for delivering a godlike direct. This bro. will be our, our last final segment. announcement. It's Zelda. Yeah, it's gotta be Zelda. Me. There's no doubt. Tears of the Kingdom. It's Zelda. Bring it on after this glorious direct. Bring it on. Zelda time. Zelda time. Let's see it. Show me dungeons. Show me something. I'm being quiet. I gotta listen to the music. The towers. Okay. Dude, this looks awesome! Look at this underground area! Rise, rise, my servants. Voice acting? Also, what? Is that Sweep Ganondorf? Over Hyrule. Eliminate this kid. Oh my gosh. Oh. Leave no survivors. Let's go! Oh, man, we're going to hear a voice acted Ganon in Zelda Breath of the Wild world. There's Epona. Dude, 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 Dr. Octopus, bro. Oh, my gosh, look at this with these giant mushrooms in the ground. Aliens over the crop circles. Fire, Garganackle, Ganon. Look at how cool Ganon looks. I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Those are crop circles, dude. What? Homing arrows? Bring it on, baby. Oh. Dude, the way the music is swelling. What the heck? What? Flying around at UFOs. What? There's so much to break down. I know there's gonna be a 20 minute Commonwealth Realm video talking about every single thing that was in that. Dude. Please, lend him your power. Oh, dude, 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 that shot right there. That's gotta be the opening of the game. 512. We are three months away, that's it. Three months away from playing Game of the Year, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Wild! That was The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, the latest entry in the Legend of Pre Zelda Pre-orders begin today! All of my money, take it! In addition to the standard version, take it. a collector's edition of the game Steelbook. Oh, oh, the art book too! Day. A new Amiibo, of, of course they are! Of course they are! Be available Nintendo wants all our money! We hope you're looking forward to Link's Bro. Grand Adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. That's plenty. Thank you for watching. Like, where do I begin with that? Where do I begin with this? Visit Nintendo.com to replay the video. I'm replaying the video right now. Where do I begin with this Direct? This is truly... I have been doing Nintendo Direct live reactions on YouTube for, what, seven years at this point? I've been doing this for a long time. I'm an old man, all right? I am 32 years old. Let me tell you right now, in the history of me doing Nintendo Directs on the YouTube channel, this is easy, easy top three. Easy. The only things I could even think of off the top of my head that compete with this one, maybe it's top five. I'll say top five. Top three is, that's a little, that's cap. It's maybe not top three, because there were still a little bits of downtime. The only things I could think that compete with this are the Nintendo Switch presentation, the first Nintendo Switch presentation, 
the direct where Ultimate was announced, and the direct where Banjo-Kazooie got announced, and Tears of the Kingdom got announced for the first time. That is it. That is it. In terms of overall hype, amazing announcements all the way through, this is solid. Metroid Prime, today, Advance Wars, actually getting released. Golden Sun, Metroid Fusion, Minish Cap, all these really good games that were stuck on the Game Boy Advance coming back on the Switch. Full multiplayer for the F-Zero game that's on there as well. Game Boy and NSO, Prof I can't even speak the words out of my mouth. I cannot believe it. Professor Layton is coming back. A new Professor Layton game. I, I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm stupefied. I'm in awe. And then a trailer for Tears of the Kingdom to wrap the whole thing up. And before I even forget, we opened with this. We opened with Pikmin, bro. We opened with Pikmin 4. And we got the DLC for Fire Emblem. And it's got Camilla. And we got the DLC for Xenoblade. And it's got Shulk and Alvis and Rex. And I'm pretty sure that was Noah's kid. So we have a lot of stuff to play in the next, like, five months. I, I, it's unbelievable. Like, where do they go from here? Where do they, I don't know what else, like, where do they go from here? And like I said, they didn't show Metroid Prime 4. I knew that was going to be the case. Metroid Prime Remastered, they're like, this is going to satiate you guys. A little bit of a teaser for what Metroid Prime 4 is going to look like. Look at how pretty this game is. Game looks gorgeous. The Thardis fight, Fen and John Drifts, everything looks so good. Looks so good. Botan Kaido's coming back. Everything. I'm, I'm stupefied. I'm stunned. I'm so unbelievably happy. Words cannot describe how happy I am with this Direct. Again, this is one of the best ones. And there was stuff in here that I didn't even care about that I know people are going to love. There's like the Kirby stuff. I know people are going to love the Kirby stuff. Guaranteed, going to love that. The Mario Kart... I, I, was, I was crying over Professor Layton that I didn't even get to touch on the Mario Kart thing. There's a brand new course being developed for the Mario Kart DLC that's not taken from Tour, that's not a remake of another course. It's brand new. It's based on Yoshi's Island. It's got a sick looking art style. Birdo's going to be in the game. Go Ghost Trick is coming back. Ghost Trick? Nobody had that on their bingo card. If you did, you're a liar, and I know you're a liar, and I'm calling you out right now. Th this is ridiculous. Oracle of Ages and Seasons are coming on the Game Boy NSO. Everything. I really, I'm stunned. I'm really stunned. I expected when I did that prediction video, one or two of those things would get announced. I did not expect the majority of them to get announced, and so many unbelievable things like Professor Layton. Professor Layton to me is like, I, I, I have to I have to go back and rewatch it real quick because I'm I'm just flabbergasted. I still can't even speak. I can't believe this. Let me also oh, let me watch this Yoshi's Island trailer real quick too because I missed this. I was freaking out. This looks gorgeous, Yoshi's dude. Look at the background. Island. A brand new course is look at this. Into wave four look how the good Mario this looks. Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. And it's got the athletic theme. Ah. Oh. And when did they say this is coming out? Hit the track in Mario Kart and now they're adding characters? That means they can add characters. Nintendo, add E. Gad. Put Pauline in there. Put Cappy in there. Oh my gosh. Professor Layton, man. And when did they say this is coming out? Booster course pass DLC it's for like the this Mario month, Kart next month. Game races onto the Nintendo Switch system this spring. spring. So it's soon. It's going to be soon. It's soon. I, I need to. I need to see this again. I. My, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't. I cannot believe this. I. I cannot believe this. New, I can't believe this. I'm like, I'm literally tearing up watching this. I, ca I cannot believe they're doing this. I cannot believe it. I, I cannot express how much this series means to me. I, I loved the original Professor Layton. I loved it. And then Diabolical Box came out. They announced it at E3. They didn't really showcase it, so I made that Top Hat Professor Twitter account. I'm tweeting out riddles and stuff. That got noticed. That ended up getting me my first job out of college. I ended up doing contract work for Nintendo. I ended up moving here. I lived my whole life. I started my YouTube channel. And then the Professor Layton, they kept making new games, and they eventually stopped. And I'm where I am today, literally because of Professor Layton. This, seri this series, I cannot stress enough how much the series means to me. The fact that they're bringing this back after I was certain the series was dead. I was so certain the series was gone forever. And we would never play this because... I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, I'm pretty sure the game with his daughter, like, bombed. And the game with his daughter was pretty good, but I, I, I thought it's never going to happen again. I can't believe this. I really, I cannot believe this. I'm, I, I can't believe it. 
I'm spitting all over myself. I apologize, but this is just pure unadulterated love for this franchise. Like, I really, I cannot stress enough how much this means to me. And the fact that they're going to do this, like, I hope and pray every, I hope, I swear, I hope to God this is good. Please, please be good. Please, I beg of you, please be good. Please. Please be good. Please market this correctly. Please work with Nintendo to market this game. Please, please, please. I cannot let Layton die. At the very least, level five, you're making a lot of games. You're making that police game. You're making fantasy life. You're making Layton. Okay? I hope that this one doesn't fall by the wayside. I hope to God this game is good. I really do. And I hope that if it is good, that you work more in tune with Nintendo, get them to maybe publish it or something, and at the very least, if everything goes bankrupt and you can never make another Layton game again, sell the rights to Nintendo. Do something. Because this is ju it's unbelievable. I cannot believe this is happening. This is like top five. Never could have imagined this would happen live on a Nintendo Direct that I'd be reacting to. And it's a new game, bro. And they didn't even show anything. They didn't show any footage of it. It's him walking in a steampunk area, and that's it. And they gave me Metroid Prime remastered on top of that, and Pikmin coming out in July, and Zelda looks so good. Peak. Peak direct. <sighs> Thank you. Charles Hoffman said, I just finished watching the direct. I still wanted to drop by and say, hi, hope all is well. The direct was so good. Are you excited for Scarlet Violet DLC? I sure am. They're probably going to show that during Pokemon Day. Metroid Dread donated again saying Metroid Prime tonight. It's crazy. Professor Layton coming too. I'm so excited. Advance Wars in April. I'm, again, again, I'm so glad they're not shadow dropping it. That's literally best case scenario for me. They're dropping it in April when I have a chance to actually get through the game after I've beaten Fire Emblem. Camilla, Elvis. Oh, that's big Elvis thing. Let me go back to the Xenoblade thing real quick. I got to see this real quick. Oh, I was screaming. I'm sorry. Let me go back to this real quick, too. I have to see this again. Volume Tell 4. We're watching this again. He's Is got the Monado. Really what you want? Nothing's gonna get through to him. That's that. Look, He's listen to Rex. Machine. My guy grew. What did they say? I have to listen to that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here. Tell me why. Is this really what you want? Nothing's gonna get through to him. He's a heartless machine. Bro. Like killing Grandad wasn't enough for you. Volume oh. 3 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game launches gonna be on so the good. Nintendo Switch system February 15th. Because I'm pretty sure this killing Grandad wasn't machine. enough for you thing. Hold on, wait. Let's pause it. I'm pretty sure that's Noah's kid. Like killing Grown up. Wasn't enough for you. This guy. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I think that's Noah's kid. The only thing about this is like... I'm sure there's a reason why they saved it for DLC, because they knew they could sell the DLC easier with the characters from the earlier games, but this is like, this is what I wanted out of 3. This kind of thing is what I wanted out of base 3. And the fact that they're saving it for DLC, for me personally, rubs me the wrong way a little bit. But, hashtag free game. So I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't speak. For if I had to buy it, because I was fortunate enough, Nintendo sent it my way along with the expansion pass. So I technically already own this, I can play it. But I think if I had to pay for this, I would probably be pretty upset. I'd probably be pretty upset. But I, I think this looks gorgeous. I think it looks amazing and I love it. Game Boy... Volume three of the Xenoblade. Like, Game Boy on NSO... Oracle Games coming back, Minish Cap, the Splatoon 3, like we didn't even really talk about the Splatoon 3 expansion pass stuff, that looks amazing. Camilla and Fire Emblem bringing in Veronica and the other heroes characters, it's just so good. It's so good. Guys, I have a lot of work to do. I gotta splice up some reactions, I gotta put some highlights up, I gotta make some shorts, I got plenty of content to make. Layton's gotta be its own video. I really, I can't believe that about Layton. Zelda looks so good. I wanna rewatch the Zelda trailer one more time too. Let me rewatch the Zelda trailer one more time. One more time, I want to rewatch this. One more time. Thank you to KY. Hold on. Before I watch this, I want to give this my full attention. KY donating saying Torna came out 9.5 months ago after 2's release and was made with the staff coming back from Breath of the Wild. 3's DLC is going to be coming out way later with the full staff from the start. Okay, let's watch this. Thank you very, very much. I got to watch this. Let's see this. I want to see this again. I'm still, I can't, I can't believe Layton. I really, I can't believe it. All right. Just these like these cool little underground areas look so cool. And Ganondorf, and like what is this? Weep over 
They have the three-headed dragon boss from the old Zelda games? The Blood Moon? I mean, this looks unbelievable. And I'm glad they're not showing too much. They're showing just enough. Because again, I'm sure they're going to have a title direct for this. Where they're going to reveal a bunch more information. These look super freaky. Getting chased down a hallway by the Hinox. The crop circle thing is so interesting to me too when you see him surfing on a UFO later on. This kind of boss looks awesome. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. <sighs> Look at this. And the homing arrows. You got minecart areas. This, these puzzles look so interesting. I'm just, I'm so excited to get back in the world of Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, I, like playing that for the first time is something I don't think any other game can really replicate. That is so sick. Like, I don't know what that is that looks amazing. And I don't even want to overanalyze it. I just want to experience the game for myself when it comes out. Tears of the Kingdom, May 12th. 2023 the theme i've literally got goosebumps and that freeze frame of the two of them reaching for each other lend him your power peak right there peak 5 12 2023 i am there let's go i i'm there Thank you so much, by the way, to everybody who super chatted, everybody who donated. I shouted out everybody I know, but I, I'm sure I missed some things. Thank you, by the way, again, to Metroid Dread and, and Shard Pop for these massive donations. I just, I thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who is here right now who experienced the stream with me. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you to everybody. I'm sure I missed people when the alert box was off. This was so hype. I got to get to work, though. I got to start uploading some of this stuff. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. You're amazing. We're going to be live tonight, either on YouTube or on Twitch with Metroid Prime. I'm definitely streaming some tonight. No doubt about it. But I have to get these videos up. While the algorithm's hot, I gotta upload that Zelda reaction and the latent reaction, definitely. Those two are gonna be standalone videos. There's gonna be some other ones, I'm sure. Probably Pikmin, but I gotta let the thing charge. I have shorts. Thank you to R Times for being a member as well. Golden Sun, Metroid Prime, Professor Layton Reboot, Zelda trailer, Baton Kaidos. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Un- Believable. Absolutely, positively unbelievable. I'll play the Zelda thing in the background while the credits are rolling. Thanking everybody who was here. Just, I, 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 I can't believe. Leighton coming back, man. Unbelievable. Rise, rise, my servants. Sweep over Hyrule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Leave no survivors.